Go to www.quercast.com and log into your account. From here, click on the new project button to create a project to hold your files and give it a project name. Once you've created your project, you can import your sources of data, be they from our automated transcription service or from existing text files on your computer. Hold down the shift button to select more than one file and bring them in at once. The vertical tabs allow you to move between the different sources of text in your project and you can use this bar here to resize the text column. Click on the properties button on the top right to define attributes and characteristics for your data such as demographic data like age. Choose the appropriate attribute for each property and you can create as many different properties as you like. If there's a value you've not used before, you can just enter it there. Select text and drag and drop into an empty space to create a new code. Name the code, put in a description, and choose a color if you prefer. The code is represented by a bubble and a highlight along the side of the text, which you can delete by right clicking on it. Every action is undoable in Quercos using the undo redo buttons. One piece of text can be assigned to as many codes as you like. There's no limit to the number of codes you can create. You can also create new codes by right clicking anywhere in the canvas and choosing new code. You can create subcategories for your codes as well by dragging and dropping them on top of each other like this. Double click on any of the codes to see the text that's been assigned to them. and use the copy buttons here to select any text, copy and paste to wherever you're writing up those quotes. Click on the home button any time to go back to the main view. You can use the memo feature to add side notes to your text. Just drag and drop text into the memo column. You can also use the chat function to collaborate with others on the project or keep a log for yourself. You can also use alternative views like the list view if you don't like the bubbles. When you've got more data in your project, the filter view will allow you to do things like explore the data by your subcategories. This now shows us all the data for our participants based in England. We can split the screen and see them side by side with participants who come from Australia. Again, anywhere where we see a list of quotes, we can select them and copy them and paste them wherever we're writing up our project. There are many options to export the data from Quercos. You can get it back out as an annotated transcript, as a Word file. You can generate a report, shows all the data in your project in various different tables and summaries. You can also get an Excel export, which has different workbooks tables showing all the different types of data within your coded project.